Here's another one that came in on trade at Valentine Volvo, the 2005 Nissan Murano. A lot of people like this design of the Murano more than the new one, but I find they look pretty much the same. But for the money, very good vehicles um, to buy. There's quite a bit of room. They basically uh, had some very big success with this vehicle to the point where a lot of the uh, manufacturers are they were scrambling at that time to come up with something to go into that size because that is the size now that everybody are going into the big SUVs are they've diminished quite a bit over the years uh, just to say I'll put it on. So this is the engine that uh, made Nissan very famous. They've actually used this engine in most of their models now. Uh, the 3.5 V6, dual overhead cam, uh, electronic fuel injected, very precise and, and actually lots of power for, uh, for the size of an engine with uh, ex excellent fuel consumption as well and uh, reliability uh, through the roof as well. So, you know, you got everything here again. You got your cool, you got your windshield fluid, your coolant, your power steering, your brakes. Now this car has to go through uh, our mechanical inspection. We haven't done that yet, but uh, I'm sure it's gonna call it for, uh, for tires in my opinion. Decent interior. It's got the velour seats. I think it's called the LS on this one. They still give you, uh, you know, the tilt steering wheel, your controls for the volume, your cruise control here, uh, sound system controls as well. It's a Bose sound system. Um, it's got the, you can lock up also the all-wheel drive. A lot of these vehicles of this size don't allow that to happen. So it's kind of nice to be able to lock up all four if you're in difficulty. Uh, power, windows, locks, mirrors, air conditioning, dual climate control as well. Uh, so you've got, you know, what you anticipate of a luxury car, you've got all the features right here. And what's nice, they put a bigger display as well right there. For that year, they were one of the first ones to introduce a bigger display screen for all of your controls. Whoops. So a lot of room in the back. That's one of the reasons why they're so successful is you've got a very comfortable back seat, lots of leg room. Sorry, it's the SL. So quite a bit of cargo room. I know this thing kind of hard to tell, but you know, fairly decent size. You got a full size spare tire, that's unusual in the vehicle. It's in pretty decent shape for the year, not bad. It's got the 3M on the front, so as the lights are protected on the fogs. Decent looking machine.